Greetings, people of Earth. Welcome back. My name is Jax, and today we are talking about the dangers of being the main character or main character energy in general. Um, if you've never heard this term, main character energy is this term used by millennials and Gen Z, Gen Z, whatever you want to call them. And basically, like if you have the main character energy, you have that kind of um, presence and aura and um, perspective of a main character. You know, have you ever noticed in your favorite shows, movies, television, whatever it is, that the main character often has this kind of energy around them. Obviously, when they walk in a room, everyone's focused on them. You know, there's this this kind of sense that this person is clearly the most important thing in the room. Um, and main characters often have this like confidence or unshakable kind of focus to them. And it's sort of it's it's described online and through lots of these things is like, oh man, he's got main character energy. Like, you know, like the cool things always happen to him. He's always like out in front, out front and center, you know, these kinds of ideas. And <clears throat> it's regarded as kind of a good thing, you know, like, oh man, he really has main character energy. That's a compliment, typically. That's typically referred to as like, oh, that's that's like really, that's really nice of you. Thank you. Yeah, I do have main character energy. Um, and like, it's it basically derives from like the idea of being confident, being sort of the focal point of any conversation or, um, you know, the, the point of every part of the story is about you, you know, they're like your friends are going to your volleyball tournament or your whatever. And um, that's kind of what main character energy is. And as I said, a lot of it is talked about in a positive or a complimentary way. However, there are some real problems with having this kind of main character energy, um, ego and narcissism being sort of the most obvious ones. Um, it's also just not healthy to think of yourself as kind of the center of the universe. You know, we joke that eight-year-olds think that they're the center of the universe, but fully-fledged, uh, intelligent adults should not think that they are the center of the universe or the main character. Um, it also leads to sort of prioritizing your own feelings over everyone else's, and you kind of you kind of weigh your own perspective far greater than everyone else's, and you don't tend to take advice very well, you don't tend to change bad habits or have any like introspective ideas, which is kind of funny because when you think of it, a lot of main characters in movies and books completely change by the end of the book or the movie or whatever. You know, um, Percy Jackson, Harry Potter, all of these like Luke Skywalker, they all have like the main character energy, everything that goes around, goes on in their lives is, you know, directly centered on them. They are the focal point. Um, but they go through incredible changes and through the through the story, through the plot, they overcome obstacles, they change, they take advice, they usually have like a mentor figure that helps helps them out. Um, and yet this idea of like main character energy uh, is pretty well aligned with kind of the idea of narcissism or, you know, being the, the focal point, like I said. So obviously, you know, these are big problems and I think the the best people that embody main character energy actually kind of like fight against it and they try and bring everyone else up to up to the same level or above them um you know you you hear interviews of certain celebrities that are just humble and we have a really high regard for that humbleness and it's main character energy plus being humble plus being um complimentary of others having compassion and empathy and sympathy that really elevate people to a much higher standard than just like the basic main character. Oh yeah, like I'm having this big house party. Everyone's going to come and look at how cool I am. Um, and so you kind of, you want to balance this whole idea. And, and I'm just talking generally. I don't think this is anything that you can really actively control. This has a lot to do with your reputation and how you're perceived. Um, and you know, if somebody ever says, oh man, you're, you're really the main character. You really want to be careful with that because although it's a compliment, um, it's very easy to become, you know, maybe you're the main character, but nobody likes the main character. And, you know, the, the plot of the story becomes irrelevant because you just don't like who this person is or who you, who you are yourself. Um, 
And that's really the danger of this whole idea. Um, and I think another important aspect to this is in real life, you are not going to be the main character all the time. Um, it's very easy if you're Luke Skywalker in a movie called Star Wars to be the main character the entire way through. However, in real life, there will be times where, sure, you are the main character. Everyone is coming to celebrate you. You know, your birthday is a good example of being the main character because you are. Or, you know, your wedding or a special event like that. You are the main character. That's how it kind of works. But that's one day of the year. Um, those are special occasions. Those are specific things where all of your friends and family are coming to you. A lot of the time, you are surrounded by strangers. You are surrounded by sort of people who kind of know you, or maybe you're going to a friend's party, so they're the main character. And being able to kind of accept that and just gracefully be involved, but not trying to make yourself the main character is really crucial. And it comes back to that sort of humility and being humble. Um, like I said, uh, there are specific celebrities I'm thinking of. Um, I think Keanu Reeves or Jennifer Lawrence. Um, I think these these... These characters, as we know them on talk shows and throughout movies and stuff, um, they give you kind of the the persona that, yes, they know what they're doing. They're very skilled at what they do. They're obviously very talented, but they have this kind of like self-deprecating, not taking themselves too seriously humility that makes us like them even more. Because even if they realize that they're the main character in many of the situations they find themselves in, um, they don't explicitly press it on everybody and they don't push it. Um, and I think that's a real important thing. I think one of the reasons why many of these young influencers on social media come off as really tone deaf, as really narcissistic and self-serving and manipulative um, is because they kind of are, is because they feel as though they are entitled to this energy, they are entitled to this perspective where everyone's coming to see them, everyone wants to take a picture with them, everyone wants to focus on them, um, and you know, they've probably grown up in households where they are the focal point, they are the center of attention, you know, the parents with good intentions have sort of inflated the ego of these people. Um, it's also one of the reasons why child stars are so screwed up as they, as they get older, um, yeah, like I, I recently listened to a podcast by Cole Sprouse, who was Sweet Life, Zach and Cody, all of that stuff. And he sort of talked about like, when you're the child actor, you're the focal point. Everybody is obsessed with you. Everybody is like coming to see you. And, um, you know, you're making the money for the family. You're doing all of these things. And so as a child, you sort of develop this main character energy um, and like Macaulay Culkin, Miley Cyrus, many of these actors and singers who have been in the business forever have this kind of era or, or you know, perspective that they either have to get over or they become absolutely insufferable and it leads to burnout and all kinds of problems. Um, and so you really have to kind of watch that because even though most of us aren't child actors, um, we can be raised in environments where we feel like we're the main character. And we've all met that one kid who on the playground or in a classroom or wherever, who just thinks that they are the most holy of holies and everyone must bow before them. Um, and this is not a way to make friends. This is not a way to live your life. And that's really at the heart of, of the danger of being main character or having the main character energy. Um, because it's not sustainable. Nobody, nobody should want to be the main character every waking moment of the day. Um, it's not healthy, it's not good for you, it's not good for everyone around you. Um, and all it takes is having some humility, not taking yourself seriously, all really positive traits, all like very tied to wisdom and understanding of, you know, the world is a vast place. Um, and so that's kind of my, my thought, but I've just been thinking about this whole idea of like main character energy um, for a while now, and I'd love to know what you think. So thank you for listening. Uh, I hope that you are able to live a little bit of the main character energy today. Um, don't let it get to your head. I try not to as well. And yeah, just let me know sort of what you think of this. And as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow.